You want to learn about Nissan engines. Well, you've come to the right place. We're learning about cars and VQs for beginners and what you need to increase the power output. But first, and this goes for any car that you're wanting to modify, you must do a stage zero tune, which I talked about in a different video. Then, if you're really wanting to push as much power as you can, you need to do the holy trinity of first upgrades, tires, brakes, and suspension. I cannot stress this enough. Without those, your car will be unable to put down the power safely. VQ35. These motors are in over 25 different vehicles, like the Nissan Murano and the Maxima. But the important ones are the 350Z and the G35. The VQ35 is a 3.5 liter V6, but I'm gonna stop it right there because there are different generations of this motor. So let's start with the VQ35 DE, where VQ is the family name, 35 is a displacement at 3.5 liters, D is for dual overhead cams, and E is for multi-point fuel injection. The DE ranges from 287 horsepower, depending on the vehicle. These engines are found in the 02 to 06 Nissan 350Zs and the 03 to 2007 Infiniti T35s. These motors are great, but they suffer from oil consumption problems. Or in layman's, the car burns off oil, which is generally only harmful if you don't replace the oil. But in spite of that, the DE loves bolt-ons. Bolt-ons include, but aren't limited to, the air intake, intake plenum, exhaust manifolds, Y-pipes, and the rest of the exhaust system to unleash the DE's hidden potential. After that, you will need a tune. You can opt for an off-the-shelf tune or find yourself a tuner. If you're looking into extreme gains, then you can achieve that with forced induction. But be warned, you shouldn't attempt this unless your motor has some forced internals. Otherwise, you risk blowing up your DE. You can possibly get away with low boost, but you will need to find a good tuner if you want reliability. VQ35 DE Rev Up. This was an updated version of the original DE motor that increased horsepower but lost a little bit of torque with it at 300 horsepower. This motor still consumed a lot of oil. You can find these in the mid 05 to 06 350Zs and G35s. There's a lot of changes inside the motor that will bore you, but the Rev Up motor is the best of the two DE motors. VQ35 HR. This is the engine that you want to get if you're looking into these cars. It fixed everything that was wrong with the DE. The HR in the engine code actually stands for High Rev or High Revolution. And I see this as the K series of the VQs. The HR comes with around 313 horsepower stock. And if you wanted to add force induction, these are the engines to handle it. I'm not gonna say you can't swap these engines for a better one. For example, changing your DE to an HR, but I will say it won't be as easy or cheap as a Honda engine swap. Now, let's get to the newer and more popular engine the VQ37. This engine is used again in a lot of vehicles, but we're talking about the G37 and the 370Z. We can include the Q50 and the Q60 as well, being that some of them come with the 3.7. If you want me to talk more about the VR30, comment down below. The VQ37 VHR. The VQ37 is a naturally aspirated 3.7 liter V6, which produces from 325 horsepower to 350 horsepower, depending on the car. When it comes to modification, it's up to you on the route that you'd like to take, being that these motors are pretty much bulletproof up to the 600 wheel horsepower range before you need to fiddle with the internals. Bolt-ons and forced induction is the way to go. This includes exhaust, intakes, and fuel injectors. And if you guys want to know more about bolt-ons, make sure you smash that subscribe button and help us get to 100 likes on this video.